Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. Today I'm back with episode number 37 of my F1 2016 career mode. Today we are at the Malaysian Grand Prix for round number 16 of season 2. And we said it at the end of last episode, we need to beat Perez. As you can see, Perez is 41 points ahead of us. So if Perez gets second place and one win for the rest of the season, he wins the championship. So we really need to get some wins under our belt, but... The problem is, Malaysia I don't like, Japan I don't like, USA I don't like, and Mexico I don't like. So, hopefully, well, I'm kind of relying on Perez having some car troubles like he did in ba uh, Belgium. So, let's go to qualifying for the Malaysian Grand Prix. Alright, Q1 shouldn't be an issue, but... I don't know, in this game I just, I can't seem to get this track right. Okay, so our first lap in Q1, we set a 136.8. That's terrible. I've got a feeling I'm going to rage at this track because I know what's going to happen. I'm just going to get angry that I can't go faster. We're losing to three people on the medium tyre. But we currently sit in sixth position, so let's retire. I'm sure we're going to get through and we get 11th place. Perez tops the session, just rubbing salt into the wounds there. But in the dropout zone, we have Felipe Massa starting last. That's definitely Williams' worst qualifying. We've also got Marcus Ericsson, Felipe Nazaria, Jarianto, Jolien Palmer, and Espen Gutierrez. I thought Williams had sorted out their qualifying, but apparently not. Okay, coming up to the line, we're 10 seconds up on our delta. We set a 49-0, puts us second. Faster than Pere uh, Perez? Vettel. Well, we are faster than Perez. That's actually a really decent lap on the Inters. I think that's going to see me through, because I think the rain's just going to get harder. So, let's retire. From the session, do we get through to Q3? Yes, we do. We do get P2, so the rain did get harder. Verstappen tops the session. So four temps off Verstappen. I really hope it's wet in Q3. But in the drop zone, we have Roman Grosjean, Pascal Wehrlein, Valtteri Bottas, Kevin Magnussen, Daniel Kvyat, and Carlos Sainz. Both McLaren and Honda's actually making it through to Q3, so that is a surprise. But let's go to the final part of qualifying to see who can get pole position for the Malaysian Grand Prix. And it's full wet conditions, and it looks like it's gonna have we're gonna have a storm in 10 minutes, so I better get out quickly. The rain could actually help me. I could get a pole position with this rain. I think this is the one and only game where I actually like driving in the in the rain. I, I'm actually quick in the rain. I'm not just hor I'm not I'm not just horrifically slow. I don't really mind if I don't get a pole position, but I mind if Perez beats me. That's my that's my only goal to beat Perez. We go we're going two seconds up on Ricardo. In sector two, we are looking quick, and that's a terrible line for that corner. Okay, coming up to the line. Where are we going to qualify for our first lap? We go fast as a 150.9. I love wet weather in this game. Hamilton is second. Raikkonen is third. Per now Perez goes third. So it's the championship contenders in the top three. Honestly, I'm going to save my wet tires for the race. I'm pretty sure it's going to rain, so... Let's retire. Retire from session. Where do we qualify for the Malaysian Grand Prix? Do we hold on to pole position? Yes, we do. Says on my wheel. We get pole position for the, I want to say, fourth time in five races. We didn't get it in Singapore. But we get pole by seven tenths of a second. The Ferraris and the Red Bulls beat Perez. So that's going to help me. My, cha my main championship contenders, Perez and Hamilton, down in sixth and seventh. So hopefully I can just run away with this. Hopefully it's, I actually hope it's raining. But I couldn't have asked for much more there. So let's go to the race and see if we can close the gap to Perez. So it is only into the weather, but rain is rain and it looks like it's going to go away. So looks like this race is going to be decided on strategy then. But starting on pole for the Malaysian Grand Prix, let's start this race. See what we can do. We have three lights, four lights, five lights. Lights out and away we go and the start felt good. Minimal wheel spin off the line and we are lead. Well, we're going to be leading in turn one by quite a bit. Raikkonen not getting a good start. Ne well, neither Ferrari getting a good start. Into turn one we go and we're going to be leading quite comfortably. Now can we just pull away from the Ferrari? We need to really pull a gap in the wet because this is where we're strong. Okay, end of lap one. It's looking good. We're slowly pulling a gap on Raikkonen. Not over... Oh, shit. That's a terrible first corner. We're not massively pulling away, but we're slowly edging out the gap in each sector. 
Okay, on lap five now, we've pulled a full, uh, four second gap to Raikkonen. We've slowly been... Okay, we've got a change strategy. The rain is going away. We've got a four second gap, two second plays. Perez not looking too quick, which is a good sign for me. Hopefully, I can just get the strategy right and pit at the right time. Expecting rain to stop in ten minutes. Okay. Okay, I kind of hope the track dries up a little bit quicker than this because... Although we've got a while to go, my tyres are starting to go off. We're, we're, pulling it, we're still pulling the gap on Raikkonen, or Vettel now, and I suspect that most of the cars behind me will be pitting. What tyres will they go on to? Will they go on to the drives or the inters? If they go on to the inters, then I've pretty much won this race. Okay, Kvyat goes out of the race as Vettel comes into the pit, and the virtual safety car is deployed. I'm actually happy with that. Okay, so that brief safety car just give me a chance to save some fuel, and my tyre wet just a bit. But what tyres has Vettel gone go on to? Let's have a look. Vettel has gone back onto the Inters. That's a mistake. If the rest of the people behind me go onto the Inters, then I've pretty much won this race. As long as I can keep it on track, I've won this race. Raikkonen goes into the pit. Ricardo and Perez all go into the pit. So they will be going back onto the Inters. They can't they can be going to drives yet. Surely not. But if this track dries up before my tyres reach 80%, I'll have pretty much a pit stop over most of the field. The track is actually more or less dry. There's a few spots of rain in the air, but the track is almost dry. So change strategy. There you go. That's the call we wanted. Coming in to fit the medium tyres at the end of this lap. And that's actually come at a perfect time. as so we've got a 23 second gap on Vettel and he's on the wrong tyres. Okay, coming in to fit the medium tyre. Make sure we don't speed into the pit because we don't need to at this point. 23 second gap on Vettel and he's on the wrong tyre. Surely we've got to get out in the lead. We have a nice pit stop. 2.5, that's a decent one. Will we get out in front of Vettel? It's actually going to be close. Is he going to get out in front of us or not? I think he is. As we get up to speed, he's just going to get out in front of us. There he goes. And now we can see who is on the right tyre. There is a dry line and the track is more or less dry. The tyres feel a little bit slippy but maybe that's just because it's a crossover stage and neither tyre is right. Hopefully next lap though. Really? Really? You're gonna... No. 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 Fuck you. Fuck you. You're an idiot. I hate you. I actually hate you. Come on, just one more lap and these tyres should be alright. They're not too bad. We've got Verstappen behind us. We're going to push him. Okay, he's going to go to the inside then. I tried to push him to the outside. He goes up the inside. Like hell we pit it, really. Verstappen gets past us, but come on, this lap, this lap, these tyres have got to start working. Surely they have. How are the Inters still going? Raikkonen right, looking up, we're inside. Is he going to do it into turn one? We're going to try and hold it. We'll have, we'll have the inside line for turn two. These tyres are working just enough for us to fight, but not enough for us to pull away. Okay, these tyres are starting to work better now. The track is pretty much dry. we got to start finding pace soon. Come on. DRS enabled. That is the sign. These tyres should be working. They, they're definitely feeling better, and I think we've got the grip, judging by how slow for staff is going. Purple sector two. Now we're on the right tyre. Now we can put in some decent lap times. Can we get past the staff and going down the inside to, into the penultimate corner? One day I will, I will say penultimate right quickly. We're back up in the second place. DRS to help us. Let's put some rich mix on and try and put in some quick laps. Okay, these tyres should... I, I should be able to push and get to the lap 21. Okay, so Vettel's on the hard tyre. I think he's going to try and go to the end. That's slightly worrying. What tyres is Ricardo going to go on? He goes... Ricardo goes on to medium, so he won't make it to the end. I don't think he will anyway. Vettel might be a problem here. We need to try and keep at least a 25 second gap to him. Okay, what is the gap to Vettel? It is 13.5. That is not good. And Palmer sets fast lap of the race. And now Harry Anto sets fast lap of the race. This is just getting weirder and weirder. Next thing I'll see, it'll be Nasa setting the fast lap of the race. Nope, it'll be me, a 141.4. And Vettel just absolutely obliterates that of a 39.6, I think that was. Okay, Vettel's going to be a problem. How the fuck are the AI so quick on the drives here? I don't understand. I don't know where I'm losing time. How are they setting 30, 138, 137s? How are they doing these lap times? If, Vettel go, if, if Vettel's going to the end, he's going to win this race. He's easily going to win this race if he's going to the end. Okay, just judging by my tyre wear on the mediums, I don't think Vettel's going to be able to make it to the end. He's still got 10 laps to go. So I think for now, we should be all right to maintain the race lead.
That is the worst timing you could have ever chosen. Fucking idiot. I really wish you could just get a new race engineer. I really do. Like, I wish that one of the upgrades you could buy of resource points would be a better team or a better engineer. Yeah, I... Well... Ugh. Yes, I'm coming in this lap. Because he's got about six brain cells, I swear. Don't forget, pit in this lap. Yeah, unlike you, I actually have brain cells, Jeff. Alright then, into the pit we go. Vettel stays out, obviously. Hamilton's got a pit again. I think that's him coming in now. Right, then, Perez stays out. He's on the hard tyre, I think. I'm guessing so. Yeah, Perez is on the hard tyre. He's going to get out in front of us. Who's following him? That's Raikkonen following him. He's on the hard tyre as well. So I'm pretty sure we have the race lead for now. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that Vettel... It may be close, but I'm pretty sure Vettel will get out behind us. Okay, so we're 12 seconds behind Vettel. So we will get out in front of him once he pits. Unless he goes to the end. Okay, Perez has gone to the pit. That's good. Which means we will get out in front of him. And it will mean... And it will mean that Vettel needs to pit. Well... It should mean that Vettel needs to pit again. We've got someone in the pit. Is that him? Yes, it is. Are we going to get in front of Vettel? Yes, we are. Into second place. And Raikkonen is the last person to pit. Technically, we're leading this race. All we need to do is hold back Vettel. And Lewis Hamilton is out of the race. A potential championship contender. And I'm pretty sure that is his title hopes out of the window. Let's see what happened to him. That's race director, Connor. Is it legit a repeat? Of what happened in real life. Yes it is. I tell you what. I give Codemasters a 10 out of 10 for realism. You legit could not get more real than that. Hamilton's car blowing up. Destroying his title contentions. At Malaysia. Better has to look around the outside at the final corner. Is he going to do it? I don't think he is. We've got the inside line. And I think he's going to get DRS unfortunately. He's trying to hold it around the outside. And he's actually held it around the outside. The final corner. We're going to duck back into his slipstream. Hopefully we can take him, make a move into the final corner of Raikkonen Pitts. It's now a battle for the lead. Down at the inside into the first corner. He's got the inside line for turn two, but we cut him off back in front of him. We're on the slowest of the dry tyres. He's on the fastest, but we have the faster car. Better with DRS again. We're going to go to the inside once again. He's going to have to go on the outside if he wants to take us at the final corner. Looks like the only place he can actually overtake us. But we're going to dive back up the inside. Try and get a better exit than him. But he's very good at holding it on the, the outside. A little bit of side pod contact. And he actually holds us up quite a bit. Can we get in the slipstream and make a very, very audacious dive bomb into turn one? We need to to stay with him. If we can't get back in front of him, he's going to win this race. A very, well, a very, very Vettel style move there. Can we get the cut back? Breaking very late. Getting a better exit. Can we hold it on the outside? No, we can't. Ducking back in the slipstream. He goes to the outside, we go to the inside, back up in the first place, inside line for turn three. It looks like sector three and the start of sector one is the only place he can overtake us as long as we don't make any mistakes. I say that, it's making a mistake. And he gets back past us. Can we get the cut back? We cannot let him get away. Although I feel like because of that mistake, he's going to get away. We're going to dive bomb into this corner. Very, very aggressive. But he goes a little bit wide. He actually stays on track, actually. We get the better traction. And back up in the first place. He's still on our inside though. Trying to hot on the outside. This horrible, horrible corner. But we hold him off. Vettel looking up our inside this time. We're going to try and get the cut back. This is probably how he's getting the good run. But we don't actually manage it. He's going to have DRS. But we have his slipstream with the engine power. Can we stay with him? It looks like we are. Ferrari really not quick in the straight line this season. We're going to look up his inside in the turn one. Breaking very, very late once again. Actually going to force him wide. We've actually cost him quite a bit of momentum there. Hopefully we can break our DRS and slipstream. But I'm sure with the faster tyre, he's easily going to close the gap once again. Vettel having a look around the outside at this corner. You're welcome to try it, Vettel. But I'm sure it won't work out for you. We're just going to force him wide. Actually leave him a fair bit of room. He has room to do something, but he clips our rear. Lose a bit of momentum. He's still on our inside. And we actually run a little bit wide on the exit of that corner. Can we get back at him? We'll have his slipstream and DRS, so we should be able to get past him. Although this exit, the exit of the penultimate corner is not where I've been strong. Can the DRS and slipstream do enough for us? It should be able to. It's 2016. There you go. Closing the gap. We're actually going to stay behind him and get DRS down the main straight. And hopefully take him into turn one. 
Here you go. Closing the gap. Going to make a move into turn one. Trying to hug the apex. Try not go wide this time. And back up in the first place. As long as we keep doing this, we're good. And Perez has found his way into third. As usual, Perez always on the fucking podium. Vettel making a move up or inside. We're going to hold it on the outside. Not really an overtaking opportunity. And it looks like, is he going to be able to hold it around the outside the S-Bend? He's trying it, but I'm pretty sure we'll have the traction. No, he's still our inside. He actually damages our front wing. That's going to hurt us quite a bit. Now Perez is right behind us joining this fight. If Perez win this, wins this race, then my championship is pretty much over. With that broken wing, I think Vettel's going to win this. Perez and Verstappen looking, looking up my inside. Can we get a better exit? Round the outside of Perez. We need to beat him. And Verstappen's actually got a very, very poor exit out of that corner. Looks like Vettel's going to get away with our broken wing. I don't think they're going to be able to stay with him. But can we beat Perez? We, well, we need to. If we don't beat Perez, our championship is pretty much over. Oh, fuck. This wing is going to fuck me over, isn't it? Although, that's actually really helped us get a very good run. Hopefully, Verstappen can take Perez. I need the Red Bulls to beat Perez in the final few races. But Perez looking up or inside into the final corner. Can we hold it on the outside? I think we're going to. He's still on our inside. And I think he's got DRS to help him. Yes, he has. We're going to go back up into a slipstream. Try and stay with him. Try and make a move on him into the final corner. Come on. We can't let him beat us. Verstappen has got past Perez. Thank you, Verstappen. Can Raikkonen get past him as well? Verstappen make a move up or inside. Again, not an overtaking opportunity. A little bit of contact. And I've actually taken out Verstappen. Oh, fuck. I didn't want to do that. I just turned in a little too aggressively. And per I've just gifted Perez third. And pretty too fair. I deserve that. I, des I deserve for Paris to get third because of that, because that was my fault. But coming round the final corner, Sebastian Vettel is going to take the win. It's been a while since he's won a race, actually. The checkered flag comes out, and we are going to take second place. Slightly disappointed we didn't take the win, but we beat Perez. That's all that counts. It may be a small amount of points, but every bit helps to beat Perez this championship. Perez does come home in third place. So we're only going to gain three points on him. I definitely feel like Perez could have potentially come fourth or fifth if I hadn't taken out Verstappen. Unfortunate for me, I just turned in too early. But Vettel takes the win. We take second. Perez third. Ricardo comes home in fourth. Raikkonen comes home in fifth. Verstappen sixth. Rosberg seventh. Alonso eighth. Carlos Sainz ninth. And Valtteri Bottas takes the final point for Williams. The retirements being Daniel Kvyat, who was an engine retirement fairly early in the race. And Lewis Hamilton. That engine blowout putting an end to his championship hope. Sound familiar? It should do. But in the drivers, we close the gap to 38 points to Perez. Hamilton 57 points behind Perez. I'm pretty sure he's out of contention now. He's going to have to be very lucky if he wants to win this championship. But we need a race where Perez doesn't get onto the podium. We really need a big points haul against him in the final few races. In the constructors, Red Bull move up to second place. It's been a while since they've been in second place, despite the fact having the fastest car throughout the majority of the season. But with Mercedes only picking up, I think, six points this race, Red Bull move into second place. But Force India, 116 points ahead of Red Bull. We have pretty much won the Constructors' Championship. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, remember to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new in here. That race started off quite dominant and quite boring, but the dying few laps, everything was happening. My throat is absolutely killing me. But next time out, we'll be in Japan, despite being one of my least favourite tracks. It's not that bad a track for me. I mean, last season, that's not the right button. Last season, we won it. So who knows? Maybe that could be the race where we really close up to Perez. This championship is really heating up. I'm pretty sure it'll go down to at least Brazil. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and see ya.